This is the last exercise in this uh, projection of solids. So a pentagonal pyramid, 30 millimeter base sides and a 60 millimeter long axis is freely suspended from one corner of the base so that a plane containing its axis remains parallel to VP. Draw its front view, top view and left side view. So, this is the case of a pentagonal pyramid. The dimensions are given. And the condition is that it is freely suspended from one corner of the base. So that a plane containing its axis remains parallel to VP. That, that is, the axis is parallel to VP and it has only one inclination with the uh, HP. It has inclination with HP, but it is parallel to VP. Now, what we have to do is we have to draw the front view, the top view, and the side view, left to side view. So, when uh, yes, when an object is uh, freely suspended, what is the relation between the point of suspension and uh, uh, the center of gravity? Any idea? The point of suspension and the center of gravity. The relation between the position of the point of suspension and the center of gravity. Both are of the uh, same point. Uh, not, not the same point. Both will be in the same vertical line. Ah, vertical line. Yeah. Both will be in the same vertical line. Not in the same point. It will be both will be in the same uh, vertical line. So that property we are using here. So first our XY line, then the pentagonal pyramid. This is the top view of the pentagonal pyramid. The pentagonal pyramid is shown, uh, drawn in such a way that one of its coordinates is towards the right end. One of its base coordinates is towards the right end or uh, one of its base edges is perpendicular to the xy line. One of its base edges is perpendicular to the xy line. So that is the condition. Now, the front view is also drawn. The height is 60, so it is already there. Now the front view is completed. All the points A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and the P dash is uh, uh, the point of uh, the axis, the, the end point, the second end point of the axis. And the apex is, the axis starts from the apex to the centroid of the base. So P dash is the centroid of the base. So the, it is the second end point of the axis also. And uh, here is the apex, O dash is the apex. Now, this is the point D dash. D is the point where we are going to uh, keep it suspended, keep the uh, pyramid suspended. So where should be the point of uh, the center of gravity? We have to find out the center of gravity now. In the case of a pentagonal pyramid or in the case of any pyramid, where should be the uh, pentagonal, I mean, the center of gravity at a distance of? It will be always in the axis, no no uh, doubts, it is on the axis and it is at a distance of, at a, at, it is at a distance which is a fraction of h from the base. So it is at a distance of h by 4 from the base. So this is h by 4, it is not h by 3, h by 3 is for triangular shapes. Triangles, it is uh, h by 3, but for pyramids, it is h by 4, pyramid as well as cone. The center of uh, centroid or center of gravity is at a distance h by 4, the total height divided by 4 from the base. So that you should remember. Don't forget it. It is not h by 3, it is h by 4. h by 3 is for triangular shapes, not tri planar shapes, tri planar triangles. But this is for a uh, solid. This is a, uh, for a solid, which is uh, a pyramid. For a solid, 
a, 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 a pyramid shaped solid like a cone or a, any pyramid the center of centroid from the base is at a distance of h by 4 now we draw a line joining this uh, d dash and g dash g dash is our centroid so d dash is our point of suspension so we draw a line d dash g dash now what we have to do is we have to keep d dash g dash per per perpendicular to the xy line d dash g dash perpendicular to the xy line and then redraw the first front view so like this d dash g dash is per kept perpendicular with the d dash on the upper side why d dash on the upper side because it is the point of suspension the point of suspension uh, the centroid will be anyway below the point of suspension so the point of suspension is kept at the top and g dash is kept at the bottom and d dash g dash is the vertical line as we said the point of suspension and the centroid will be in the same vertical line so that is this particular line this particular line is the line under consideration now keeping this particular line like this you have to reconstruct or redraw this particular drawing this particular front view like this or it can be towards the right also no problem yeah, now it is drawn towards the left you can draw it towards the right also but you have to be very careful while drawing it all the dimensions all the lengths uh, lengths from g dash and d dash that you you should keep in as it is as it is in the first different view so that is it now go for the next topic see in that in this particular top view they are just starting from a to o as well as the edge starting from b to o these two edges will be invisible all other edges will be visible only these two edges that is the edge starting from o to a and the edge starting from o to b that uh, two edges will be invisible edges so this is it then you have to go for the left side view left side view you are drawing it towards the right so the side view also you have to try x1 y1 so this is the another method as i said we are drawing a semicircles semicircles with the center here and this line uh, with the, all the uh, low c touching the vertical line and with the center this point with the center as this point and radius as this we are drawing an arc with the center this with the radius as this radius this total radius we draw second arc likewise all the arcs are drawn so then from all these points all these intersecting points you have to draw the projectiles so a dash is obtained b dash not b dash b double dash then c double dash b double dash e double dash o double dash e double dash see in this case only a double dash b double dash is the invisible line all other edges will be visible in the side view in the side view only a double dash b double dash will be invisible all other edges will be visible so that's it any doubts in this case the thing that you have to remember is this uh, one is the centroid the centroid of a pyramid shape or a uh, shape with a base and a, and the apex is at a distance of the height divided by four from the base that you should remember the first condition and the second condition is that the point of suspension and the center of gravity will be in the same vertical line that thing also you have to remember these are the two conditions that you should remember in this particular case a any doubts
sir left side view or i should explain the left side view so left side view means we are looking from the left side left side of the object so this is the front view and the left side means from here we are looking from in this direction that is the only thing the left side view means no, nothing more, uh, more specific so in order to draw the left side view what we do is we draw a um, since this is first angle projection first angle projection uh, in the first angle projection the left side view will be on the right side of the front view so what you draw is we draw a vertical line this is the x1 y1 line which is which is separates the uh, profile plane from the vertical plane and the horizontal plane so that's there now in the top view from all the points from the, in the top view from all the points we draw low c to the x1 y1 line low c to the x1 y1 line then from all these low c we draw circular arc it is not necessary to you draw the circular arcs any of the method you can use the 45 degree inclined lines or a line a single line as in the previous condition previous condition we have seen uh, only a single straight line which is inclined at 45 degree that way also you can use the simplest method or uh, the easiest method which i prefer or i always prefer is this method that is drawing the circular arcs then circular arcs from with this point as center and uh, the radius uh, in this line the radius the, the length of each of the point or the distance of each of these points from the uh, this point as the radius you draw a number of arcs here uh, how many number of points are there that much number of arcs you have to construct then from all these points you draw vertical lines from all these points you draw vertical lines see this is uh, from the point starting from a we started from a from a to the x1 y1 line and then from the arc then draw the arc then this uh, intersect with the x y line then from that particular point we draw the vertical line and uh, a double dash in order to get a double dash from a dash in the front view we draw a horizontal line so this line is extended in so that a b double dash can also be ex uh, obtained in this particular straight line so this is the point a double dash and here is the point b double dash that's it this this line this line is obtained uh, through uh, from the point b we started from the point b and uh, this curve is drawn then from this point we draw the vertical line representing the projector of b so that one is also drawn so this is uh, like this uh, from the uh, low c of b dab, b uh, low c of b dash is drawn so that will give you the point of intersection of these two lines will give you b double dash and likewise we go for the c double dash and the uh, b double dash b e double dash and finally o double dash is also here then p e dash p e double dash this much points are required then join the points in this case a double dash b double dash will be invisible all other lines will be visible all other edges will be visible 